With a thriving community comprising businesses and residents and with good access to ports, Gatwick Airport and London, the West Sussex coastal towns form part of a large urban area with a population similar in size to some of the UK's largest cities. As a result, the transport infrastructure has to cope with a vast number of people and vehicles moving throughout the county every single day. Stretching from White Parish in Wiltshire all the way to Pevensey in East Sussex, the A27 is part of the UK's strategic road network and between Portsmouth and Lewis it is the only east-west trunk road south of the M25. As a result, the A27 is heavily used and widely known as one of the most congested roads in Britain, largely due to a series of bottlenecks that include Chichester, Arundel, Worthing and Lansing. Because of all the delays along its route, the Highways Agency has said the A27 is one of the most unreliable trunk roads in England. The A27 is deemed by some to be an unfinished project and it is widely considered by enterprises in these areas to cost money and limit economic performance due to its unreliability and frequent congestion. Based in Worthing, Carpenter Box is one such business affected by the A27. The A27 uh, impacts the business uh, that we run here on lots of levels, really. It impacts in terms of the difficulty that staff have in uh, transiting between their homes and the business, and vice versa. It impacts very much in terms of the time that we need to allow when we go to visit clients. Um, it's so unpredictable, there are so often delays that we have to build in a cushion. Um, it, uh, in some cases, I would tend to sort of put in an extra half an hour. And of course, time is money. So, you know, whilst we're sitting on the A27 trying to get to where we need to go, uh, we're not dealing with other stuff. And of course, there's a potential that we may be late. And that's never good if you're going to visit uh, either a client or a contact. I think where it really um, can have an effect is in terms of getting new clients and pitching to businesses and, and you know there is this negative uh, perception uh, of, of Worthing because of the A27 and it will sometimes make people think twice so I think there is a real negative for bringing business to, to Worthing because of the A27. I did a straw poll by email with the staff here. So many of them said both in terms of their personal life and um, their business life when they might be visiting clients um, that they'd been affected. But there were so many comments that came along with that which uh, sort of went along the lines of it's a nightmare, it seems to be getting worse uh, and so on and so forth. So there's a real sort of uh, feeling that you know, things are not getting better uh, and um, I, I suspect a bit of despondency that they're only going to get worse. If it weren't for the difficulties that we get with the A27, we would be looking for business um, into Kent. Um, but that east-west corridor through the county, both through West Sussex and East uh, Sussex, is so appalling that the time it takes for us to transit to where we might be looking for a potential client is, is a bar. So that, you know, the whole question of the east-west transit through the county um, I think is a, a, a massive uh, question and I think impacts all of the businesses, uh, whether they're in East or West Sussex. Graham Bryant, the Managing Director of Grow Train Limited and Chairman of the West Sussex Growers Association, explains how the A27 directly impacts on his business. The, 27, the A27 affects us in several ways. A lot of our tutors are not near to this site, so they're coming from Eastbourne, from Hadlow in Kent, um, from Hampshire, and some of them are taking an hour and a half to two hours a day on both directions to get, get to this location. In terms of the delegates, the delegates again are coming from around the southeast. Okay, a lot of them are from within West Sussex, but you've got squeeze points along this last section at Arundel, 
at lancing, which can really affect the timing. Yeah, the West Sussex growers are, well, our membership are about 60, 60 um, growers located throughout the, the area. They're employing about 7,000 people. So obviously there's an awful lot of movement there along the 27, along some of the, the minor roads. So it affects the efficiency of the business in terms of those movements, people, people getting to work, but equally it affects their quality of life. So it's affecting the businesses in that way, but it's equally affecting the businesses in the way of transporting the goods away from sites and getting them off to supermarkets or the various pack houses or other locations. The A27 affects the growth of our business because it's a consideration for outside businesses in dealing with us. Um, probably quite difficult to quantify, but certainly there is a financial cost and uh, in terms of time, but equally in terms of energy. Obviously, if you're sitting in a, a queue using fuel, then obviously that's having quite a, a major effect. My personal feeling is the A27, uh, we've got a half finished project. It's a project that was dueled a lot of the way and you've got these various points which have not been addressed, which do now need to be sorted out. The bottlenecks along the A27 also have a knock-on effect to the towns and villages nearby and many are used as a rat run. Half Moon Bay Leisure Limited, producers of towing solutions for motorhomes, is based in Storrington. Owner Alan Manton explains how the A27 affects other areas of the business. We're very close to the A27 and we use it. We try and avoid it as much as we can because of the delays. It means that uh, we can be late um, with our customers um, and we spend an awful lot of time stuck in jams there, which means that um, we're not as efficient as we could be. The southeast of England is uh, one of the most populated areas of, of the country. Um, and it has a, a severe lack of infrastructure allowing uh, traffic to flow freely along the south coast and that is uh, of detriment to, uh, uh, to businesses and people in the, in the south east of England. Uh, two key bottlenecks along the A27 uh, is Arundel uh, where, the, where it peters out and you have to work your way through the village and around the bypass um, and Chichester, Chichester Bypass. Chichester Bypass is always heavily loaded, um, is a great slowdown point for us um, especially when there's flooding. The A27 past Worthing um, has been a bottleneck for years and uh, um, traffic is terribly slow through there. We spend a lot of time caught in jams, um, late for our customers. Um, they find it difficult to get to us um, because of the heavy traffic um, that is stopped on that road due to the lack of infrastructure. If we had better infrastructure, um, yes, I'm certain that my business would uh, grow more effectively. The problems along the A27 also affect other areas of business. Worthing Football Club has many issues with the road, with both visiting fans and players struggling to get to the venue on match day. The A27 affects the football club primarily because it deters the uh, travelling supporters from visiting the club and the town. Uh, we have week in, week out, we have um, teams from all over the area, Kent, London, Surrey, visit the club. Um, and their fans particularly are being put off from visiting the town. We get comments um, when the teams arrive um, saying that the traffic, how bad the traffic is. Those from further away um, prefer, if they're staying in a hotel, prefer to stay outside of Worthing because of the difficulty getting in. The traffic situation of the A27 also affects the players from uh, both sets of teams where they have to leave, leave work early in order to get to the ground in order to, to meet the kickoff time, particularly midweek where the kickoff is quarter to eight. Um, that means they often have to leave well before five o'clock just to beat the, the traffic. Um, we have situations where um, players from both sides don't get to the ground in time uh, and therefore the teams that, that get put out aren't, aren't the strongest team because we have players rushing to get here and, uh, and, and often that they don't make it. Of course, these are just a few examples. There are numerous businesses throughout Sussex that are affected by the A27, whether directly or indirectly. With more people wanting to live in Sussex and more businesses wanting to set up in the area, there is a need to improve the transport infrastructure to reduce costly and inconvenient delays. 
it's time for change.